All right, guys, welcome to another video, Western Sharpies RC. Glad you could join me. Uh, a little bit of a different video here, just taking a little break from the uh, flatbed build that you guys have been seeing so much of uh, as of late. Just waiting on a few little parts, mainly an on-off switch for my dolly trailer here, and then I can finish that, and then that'll be done, and then connect it all together and do a finale video, like I was saying. Uh, I did go ahead and connect it all um, and take some pictures of it on my Facebook page. I got some freight on top and you guys can check that out uh, I got a link down below if you haven't been there already so that's there to, to check out but in the meantime I thought I'd just do a little video here and show you guys the uh, sea containers I've been working on started these way way back they're almost done for the most part I was just waiting on a few details um, to finish them off mainly this this one decal right here the uh, the white little numbers um, I was able to make my own on my inkjet printer from black, but it's a lot harder to, to print white ink, apparently. Uh, so I just gotta go around and add that little ID number to all the cans and then on all four sides, and then they'll be completely done. And then I'll do a little video uh, with them on the back of a, of a chassis trailer. Hopefully I have something by then, or maybe just leave them on the flatbed trailers like that and strap them down with some chains or something. But anyway, just wanted to show you a few little uh, details here of the uh, ones that I've been working on. I got a few different kinds here. Uh, Hapig Lloyd, there's an APL. I got a few others in the, in the pile ready to go. I got a, a, a vinyl printed uh, ha uh, Hamburg Sud. This will be like a China shipping. I got a couple others as well. And then I had a crack at uh, patinaing one or weathering. And it turned out really good. I'm not really known for my weathering job, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. So I thought I'd just do a little, uh, a little uh, bit of footage on this as well. Hopefully the camera picks up some of the details. But I used that three-piece modern masters or modern metals kit that I, I got from Home Depot. It works really well. It actually makes uh, real rust. It's like a primer and then an iron oxidizing paint. And then... Uh, it's a, some kind of solution you can spray on there. And you can also make yourself with some uh, vinegar and uh, rubbing alcohol. And of course I went around there with a torch and some, some uh, knives and kind of beat it up a little bit. Because lots of times you do see these, these sea containers um, banged up, and scratched and uh, full of sludge and rust and all that. So I wanted to make one like that because the, the printer kind of messed it up a little bit so I thought I'd convert it into a, a beat up one and it, like I said, turned out really good. So I think I'm just going to leave this one like this. I'm not going to put uh, any identification numbers on there, logo or anything like that. But um, yeah, like I was saying, those ones there are ready to go. Just got to get the labels and then glue the, the final pieces onto them, the, the doors and the door frames. This is one here that kind of got bunged up on the printer. Uh, I guess from time to time the printer shits the bed and then you get stuff like that there. So that's really unfortunate because these are such long prints that, I mean, when it happens like this halfway through, really what do you do? But I'll try to salvage this thing. What I was thinking of doing was I still went ahead and printed a, a, a cap here for the front. And um, I'll, 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 do, I'll do the doors. They're actually going right now on the printer. And then I'll, I'll make a little storage uh, container that you see sometimes on those moving trucks. Those little 10 foot ones or 8 footers. And I'll put like, a, a, like some kind of U-Haul or some kind of storage uh, logo on there. Or what I could do is just cut out a little window and make this into a little a construction office or something that you see sometimes. But anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this one. Just wanted to share some of these... Uh, little details here and uh, images of what I've got going on. A lot of work goes into these things, more than you'd probably think. Um, about five, six days on the printer and then, uh, uh, you know, countless hours labor-wise putting all the uh, door handles and all the, the little decals and letters and all that stuff on there. And, but uh, they turned out really good. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, I will put these on my page eventually here. I, I just posted something actually today, um, but I'm not too sure many people are gonna be interested in picking one of these up because they're not gonna be cheap guys. That's just the way it is. They're very labor intensive. And like I was saying, even the materials are, are, are expensive. You know, it's well over $100 just in materials to, to 
make one one C can, but anyway. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video and uh, we'll see you in the next one.